Yeah, Alex, congratulations. I wanted to ask you about the uh, the ability of the defensive line, especially to finish today. Uh, got after Brock uh, early and often. What do, you, what do you feel like was the difference there uh, from the way you all played uh, you know, the last few weeks? Yeah, I, I think there's been, been signs of that. Uh, you know, certainly at times, and, and, and probably, un, unfortunately, and, and how we kind of found, found ourselves, you know, uh, as you evaluate the defense over the year, you know, maybe not on a consistent level. And, and then certainly some weeks uh, I've been uh, uh, well short of that, you know, uh, that standard in terms of making plays in the backfield and, and having the disruption. And there's been other weeks, including last week, where there's just, you know, long stretches of time where you're, it's, it's, it's textbook. It's, it's what you expect the guys to be. It's what they expect to be. <clears throat> and you get the results because of it. Um, only to, to to find yourself in the fourth quarter and, and not be able to uh, replicate it, um, and so no. As you as you watch today, I, I, I thought uh, um, you know you you just saw again the um, the consistency aspect of things and, and guys being able to do it not just once, um, but a willingness to 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 continue to uh, you know kind of keep chipping away. You know you're not going to get home every single time, but that that one time you get uh, undisciplined or something like that, you're going to miss an opportunity. And in, in so many ways, guys just. I play play disciplined football, but 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 they play with an edge, um, and uh, you know that's that's what's required uh, in this month. And along those lines, I also wanted to follow up with the uh, Jalen's touchdown there at the end of the first half. Does that just show sort of the uh, the way that those things can come together from you know Nick Benito uh, flushing Brock initially, Key Lawrence coming down making the hit, and then. Redmond obviously being in the right uh, right place at the right time, and, and just what was your reaction to that play? Also, yeah, I, I think you know number one to, to your point, I, I think uh, it, it obviously takes more than one guy to to you know uh, create a play like that. Um, I, I think you know when, when you have quarterbacks that that uh, and it's so many weeks you find these guys that, that they're they're constantly trying to make plays, uh, whether it's with their legs or extend plays and that. And obviously we have a long history uh, uh, with Purdy, and he's, he, he does a tremendous job. And we have a lot of respect for him, but uh, um, you know, you you gotta you gotta find a way to win some of those battles. And and obviously, he he was able to win some in that uh, in that fourth, in those last couple of drives, right? And so you gotta win some of those battles. And then you know, I, I think you know, as, as you interpret that play, obviously, you know, it was a critical critical play in that game. It's a momentum play, um, and, and and probably is a pretty good representation of, of the lack thereof in terms of our ability to have momentum plays over the course of the year. It's very very difficult. Uh, to play uh, defense in this day and age of, of w without those, you know, and, and it's uh, uh, obviously number one, you want to get the ball back to the offense, but, but, you know, to be in, in what, what, you know, is essentially a 14 or what could be a 14 point swing, you know, I, 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 I'd struggle to kind of find that play over the course of the season for us that we've created defensively. Um, and so uh, that, that, that can't be, uh, not suggesting that's always the norm, but in the same token, is it, it, it can't be such a rare, not that you're going to take it back for a touchdown every single time, but uh, um, it can't be a rarity either if you're going to play uh, high level, uh, high level defense. Appreciate it, Alex. Thanks. John Shin. Yeah, yeah, Alex, and just the play of Jalen all around today, it seemed like, you know, as a pass rusher, he was, he highly impacted that game. Uh, was that the best he's played this season? You know, it, it probably was, and, and he's been one of those guys when he's been available for us. Is probably has been as consistent as anyone, um, and, and and give him a lot of credit for that. Give Coach Tibbs a lot of credit for that. I mean, he he's just he's one of those individuals that that uh, and and you know where where their their mindset. Um, and obviously, I'm not in their mind to suggest I know exactly, but they 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 they. they he's one of those guys that it, it doesn't look like he has a willingness to get blocked. You know, and and sometimes in. in uh, you know, when you're playing the defensive front, you know, if I'm the unblocked guy, then I can go make an impact. He's one of those guys, he uses his hands, you know, he's, he's willing to, to mash a little bit when it gets hard. Um, and obviously he possesses the athleticism to, to you know, really create uh, um, some unique situations uh, in, in terms of getting off blocks and getting in the backfield. So I'm thrilled for him and, and, and uh, um, you, you see what kind, of, what kind of player he can be. John Hoover. Hey, Alex, uh, you, you got the turnovers you want. You got the sacks you want, tackles for loss. But you look at the scoreboard, 38 minutes time of possession. They were out there a long time. And yet it was you guys that were on the field at the end of the game. Is that gratifying to you to be on the field to win this game at the end? 
Yeah, I, mean, I, I think, uh, you know, obviously, you know, you have enough respect for football that in any way you can get one, uh, especially in this month, um, you, you'll take it any way you can. But uh, no, just just unique from a timing standpoint. You know, I, I you know, obviously some of the drives, drives got longer and then and credit goes to them. And obviously, you know, you look at the third down stats and you're sitting there like, how on earth uh, did, did they have the ball that long? And, and so, you know, and I, there's a number of things uh, that, that account for it type of, and, and, um, and, and, and probably, um, you know, as much as anything, it, it, uh, there, there at the end is, you know, ma making sure that, that you have a willingness to, to stay disciplined, stay sound, stay aggressive, but, but weigh that in those two minute scenarios. And obviously some, some of that, uh, um, you know, yardage and, uh, um, I guess, uh, you know, time of possession kind of created there, there at the end as well. But, uh, um, no, it was an absolute battle. Um, and, and it has been every time we've played those guys. Thanks, Alex. Thank you. Barry? Yeah, well, Alex, sort of on that theme, you guys keep playing close game after close. I think you've had three games that didn't go down to the last possession or so, and most of them going down to the last 30 seconds. You're, yet you're 10 and 1. Most teams, Iowa State's the same way. They're 6 and 5. How have you guys been able to pull out? I mean, last week it didn't happen, but week after week, you keep winning all these close games. I think I think some of it's a belief. I, I think it's top down when you when you talk about Coach Riley as, a, as the head coach and still in the program, uh, you know, a belief. I think it's a belief, uh, you know, uh, to one uh, in, in in the leadership. Uh, uh, I think the guys possess that, and then obviously, you know, you, you'd like to think as an assistant coach that uh, you you trumpet those, you know, same beliefs. But then I think it's a belief in one another, uh, most specifically, you know. Um, and I and I think that the chief thing that you that you see in in, in games like this is, is is too often what happens, specifically on the defensive side of the ball. You just hope for the clock to run out, and you kind of get saved by the bell type of thing. And and you know, one of the things that uh, um, ha has been very evident over the course of the season is required play. Uh, you know, and, and likely not just one play uh, to, to find a way to, to win a ball game, whether it's on the offensive side of the ball, you know, a, a, a big time special teams tackle to extend the field. I think it was Trey West that did it today, you know, to, to give us a shot uh, defensively. Um, and, and so I, I think that's it. I, I, one, it's belief. I think it's, uh, you know, two, uh, um, like I said, the, the ability to, 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 to make plays in those moments. And, and you wish you would have made the play, you know, two or three more, you know, play sooner. Uh, type of deal and get, kind of take some of the stress off, but uh, um, somehow, some way, have been, been able to to find a way to do it, and uh, uh, a lot of credit goes to the players. Barry, unmute. Sorry. Uh, last question for me. Sure. Uh, you guys spent uh, three and a half quarters really controlling Charlie Kolar, and then he just goes ballistic in the last two possessions. What happened to? Where he just sort of took over the game. Yeah, I mean, a lot of credit. I mean, it's, uh, you know, the, all those guys, um, you look at them offensively and you go through the depth chart and you kind of you kind of know, but you try to kind of ignore it over the course of the season in terms of who, who you got facing coming up um, and, and stay fixated on, on the opponent uh, that's in front of you. But, uh, you know, it, it's it's all the same guys that, that compete for a Big 12 championship last year. Um, obviously, you have a quarterback that, that can deal it, and, and and obviously a tough guy that uh, you know came back in the ball game and give him credit for making plays. And obviously, Charlie, um, you know he, he's one of those guys. And and, and what they do offensively, um, Tom Manning, uh, who I, I know uh, for a long time does a tremendous job of putting those guys in, in great situations to be successful. Coach Campbell again uh, does a tremendous job, um, but. You know, the, you you got to pick your battles in terms of playing man coverage and zone coverage on them. You you can very and, and I I did a poor job on the one explosive. You know, we went we went no deep, uh, we pressured. Um, it it uh, you got to be aggressive with them, but you got to weigh that aggression. I, I probably uh, and 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 we ended up punching the ball out. They they ended up recovering it, um, but that that kind of created that moment. We talk about momentum. Um, you know, obviously credit goes to him, but, uh, you know, you don't have safety help over top. And, and so I, I certainly contributed to it, but, uh, no, you just got to pick your battles. You got to pick your battles in terms of how, how many times you're going to play man, you know, he's going to use his body. Um, and, and then also in the zone game as well, it's not so simple as to say, well, just play zone, um, because it's fine, you know, uh, can, can box you out even in those scenarios and, and find windows in that. So, um, got a lot of respect for, for, for him and, and, uh, um, you know, all, all he's done is uh, made life uh, uh, a living hell for us uh, uh, all, all the uh, in the entire time I've been here. James Hale. 
Yeah, but you got after him today, though. Uh, I thought your pass rush actually won the game. Um, you know, you you hit him at least 19 times, and you probably hit him 10 more times than he got loose. And you saw what he can do when you give him a little time. Don't you think your pass rush was really good today, or how do you feel about it? No, it, it was tremendous. It, it uh, I give those guys, uh, again, Coach Kane, Coach Tibbs, and and, and that crew, um, you know, I, 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 you just don't want to get in their way, uh, you know, as, as, a, as a play caller. Um, you look down, you just, uh, you know, it's kind of, you don't want to say, well, in the middle of a horse race type of thing. And so you just want to put them in a situation where they can be successful. You know, some of that is, is, you know, if you rush three and spy a guy, it's not, uh, in the name of being passive, it's a, it's in, in the name of those three guys can just be very reckless. And so did that a little bit. Now you got to make sure that spy guy can have an impact. And, and you know, Benito has been, been such a, uh, a, a, a big component of that over the years for us and obviously using backers and some other guys as well. Um, but uh, no, I mean, that, 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 that's, that's why we're, 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 we're smiling after that. I mean, if, if that, if not for that, um, you know, it, the, the outcome uh, could, certainly could have been uh, and probably would have been different. So I, I give those guys tons of credit. Very, very proud of those guys. Well, you knocked him out of the game even once. And even though the backup did okay, you know, the, that that's a win for you guys that, you know, they had to go to another player at that very important position. Well, it, it just, uh, you know, it makes it very difficult. Uh, you know, if, if you're, we, we, we commit so much to, 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 you know, stopping the run and then our history has been very positive in that way. And you're coming off a week where we're after four quarters, you look up and, you know, how, how on earth did we let that happen? Because there's stretches where you say, no, we're dominant against run. No, that, that, that's not that's not accurate. But um, the, the the facts are the facts. Um, and, and so to, to, to follow that up, um, the inability to, to finish some plays and, and have some undisciplined snaps in the run game a week ago. And then uh, obviously a fourth quarter that goes sideways and not finishing a ball game that we had a chance. Uh, you know, we obviously talked to, at, at length about the, this previous week. And for those guys in the front to uh, – uh, be disciplined in the run game and, and have a huge impact on a really good tailback, uh, again, that we have a lot of respect for and we've had battles with. Um, and then combine that uh, in, in the pass game, uh, you know, gave us a shot, shot to uh, uh, you know, find a way to win the game. Thanks, Alex. Thank you. We'll go to Brandon Drum, last question. Yeah, Alex, uh, you talked about Jalen Redmond earlier uh, in the questions. Can you talk about what he does for you guys as far as schematically, personnel-wise, uh, just maybe how the opposite team, the opposing t the opponent goes, plays y'all a little bit differently, maybe up front, blocking-wise, schematically, with yeah. when he's in the game with obviously IT, Perian, and Nick. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you see, uh, you know, that there's obviously at times we've had that over the course of the year, and obviously there's been times where, where you know, uh, uh, Jalen specifically was was unavailable, um, and and uh, you know, again, a lot of credit goes to him. He's one of those guys that uh, you just kind of believe that he's going to make a play, and then you don't, you don't. There's not a call that's going to get it done for him. It, it's he's going to. And I think about Perkins in the past, where you just, you just. Um, you, you, you believe because he believes that, that he's going to have an impact and make a play and, and um, is, is kind of quiet about his business, but is all business and um, it helps the guys around him and obviously the guys around him help him. And so, you know, all that uh, uh, plays into it, but uh, no, I, I, I'm thrilled for him that, uh, you know, he, he found the end zone um, and, and uh, um, you know, the, obviously had a, a major impact on the game and in, uh, in other ways as well. Real quickly, did you following that timeout at the end of the ball game? Obviously, Kohler was having his way pretty much there for a bit. Did you did you ever think about switching somebody else to man up on maybe like he somebody a little bit larger, a little bit bigger, that maybe able to combat maybe his height and his his size? Yeah, you know, really, what we chose to do was have safety sport over top, and 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 you know, we called two man a little bit in in those situations. You know, we had a zone coverage concept, backer chases on in the under coverage, which, which allows a a middle of the field throw uh, to to convert in one situation. And so, they, by you know, uh, there's some moments of undisciplined football there at the end, and then obviously we'll we'll hash out. It's all it's not all roses type of thing. Um, but, uh, but, but part of that was, you know, uh, understanding that if we can be aggressive in the under coverage, um, you know, make him kind of deal with, uh, 
um, another, you know, at least uh, uh, a few body parts kind of swinging at him underneath, and then and then still being in a position to have some guys over the top so you don't give up the uh, give up the big one, um, and and while still having enough guys to to rush the passer and have an impact. So um, now you, you you look at the call sheet and uh, um, at, at 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 some point in the drive you don't like anything, um, and, and but uh, now they uh, um, guys found a way to make a play there at the end.